There is so many ways you can use stickers in GoodNotes. Depending on your task, it can be useful to switch between different ones in order to make your workflow smoother. In today's video, I will be showing you all the hacks that I learned so that you can have them all in one video that you can always refer to. Both beginners and users familiar with the app might find useful information in this one. So we should open GoodNotes app first and then use split screen to put the files app on the right side of the screen. You can also put it on the left side. And then we need to find the folder where our stickers are located. It's usually called individually cropped stickers or individual PNG files. And then we just press the sticker, drag and drop like this. This is one of the easiest methods to import stickers into GoodNotes. You just need to press a little bit, then drag and drop into your notebook. This is also one of the most useful methods, since stickers come in different file formats and this is the one that you will probably be always able to use. Many freebies that you find online are just these PNG files in a folder, so this is the easiest way to use them. You can also drag and drop from photos. You do the same as with Files app. Put it on one side of the split screen. However, in the new iPad iOS update, there is a problem with stickers because they lose the transparent background and have this white background around them. They basically turn into JPEG photos instead of PNG. So until Apple fixes this problem, we will not be able to use drag and drop from photos. You can also drag and drop from the GoodNote sticker book. You just need to put the GoodNote sticker book on the side of the screen, just like we did with the Files app. We just put GoodNote sticker book file on one side and our journal planner GoodNotes file on the other side. And then you need to find a sticker that you want to import. We can import with image tool, so click image tool and then do the same as before. You just press a little bit, drag and drop. Just press the sticker, drag and drop. You can also use the lasso tool to drag and drop. You just need to click on the lasso tool, which is this icon here and make sure images are turned on. If it's not turned on, you won't be able to move the stickers. Then you just need to circle the desired sticker and just press it, drag and drop. Make sure to circle only a small part of your sticker because it can sometimes happen that you select more than one sticker, so a small circle would be the best. These are the two easy ways to drag and drop from your sticker book. You can also drag and drop more than one sticker, you just need to lasso more than one sticker. You can already see that there are so many creative ways to use the lasso tool. You can also transfer from one notebook to another. And there are also many things that I will show you in the next parts of this video.
You can also use image tool to import stickers since stickers are essentially images. Here you will find your latest images. You can just click on one of those and it will appear on your notebook. So when you import this way, your sticker will have transparent background and it will not have the same problem as when you drag and drop from the photos. You can also click anywhere on your file and this window will appear. And this is where you will find all the photos that you have on your device. If you click insert from, you will also be able to insert stickers that are not stored in your photos but in some other files on your iPad. Now let's talk about the Elements tool, which is the tool that's actually intended for stickers. You can create different sticker collections inside of it, and this way your stickers are always accessible to you, no matter what notebook, journal, planner you're using. You just need to click on this little star icon in your toolbar and all your stickers will be instantly accessible. However, you first need to import your stickers into Elements. And you do that by clicking on this plus icon here. You can add the title of your sticker collection. And you have the option to import from files or add photos. You can select any photos that you want in your collection and then click add. It's now imported and we click create. And now we have our collection. It's on the first place here. However, we stumble upon a problem, the same problem we had when we dragged and dropped from the photos. We have this white background around our sticker. Importing from photos is much easier than from files, because you can select more than one photo at once. But because of this software glitch, we are not able to use this method and we need to import from files. It can be hard to do this when you have too many stickers, but this way, if you have just a few, it's pretty fine. Now we click Create. And we have our collection created again. To import the sticker, we just need to click on it and we can immediately use it on our notebooks, journals, planners. You can also delete or edit your collections. You just long press on your collection and click delete and then delete. When you want to edit, you just long press on your collection and click edit and now you can change your title or remove one sticker from the collection that you don't need anymore. Now let's see what are all the different ways we can use GoodNotes sticker books. GoodNotes sticker books are GoodNotes files that you import to GoodNotes and you have all the stickers pre-cropped there. You can use the lasso tool. Of course, make sure images are turned on. Then you can select your desired sticker, make a small circle, click on it and click copy. Then go to your journal, long press and paste. You should be careful when you're selecting your sticker because it can happen that you select more than one sticker. So like I said previously, you should always make the smallest circle you can and only select your desired sticker, like this. On some small stickers, you will need to have really small circles. You can also select multiple stickers, like we did with drag and drop method. And you can also drag and drop from your sticker book without using the split screen. And it's the same drag and drop method. You select your sticker, long press, and then move it to your journal. As you can see, I do it with one hand, 
It can be a bit weird at the beginning, but you get easily used to it. You can also do it with the image tool. You do the same, just use the image tool and it's also the same drag and drop method that we explained at the beginning of the video. You can also duplicate one sticker inside of one file. You can do that with the image tool, just long press your sticker and drop it. One other thing I think it's important to mention is when you select your sticker, you can add element. You can add that sticker to one of your element sticker collections. So we will add it in this first collection. And now this sticker is always accessible to us. We don't have to go to the sticker book in order to use it. You just click your element tool and then click your sticker and it's already there. And another thing I think it's really useful is that you can copy and paste, actually select your whole spreads and paste them to another page. For example, if I have this spread and I want to paste it to a new blank page, I just lasso the whole page and then click copy and go to my next page, my blank page and just paste it right there. So whenever you don't have time to make a spread, you can always use a spread that you already made and easily paste it to your page. So let's say you want to put this art print here and then use also this Polaroid frame on top of this. And now we want to put the image behind the Polaroid frame and we choose the image, for example this one. And now we want to put it behind the frame, but the problem is that it is on top of the frame. And yeah, you can also resize your images like this. You can make them more narrow or more wide. As you can see, our image is on top. So what we can do now is either copy the frame by clicking on it, share and copy, or use the lasso tool, circle it, click and cut. And now we just move our image, long press on the page and paste. And now our frame is on top of the image. Now if we want to put this art print on top, we can do the same, just click on it, share and then long press and paste. We did that with the image tool and then to move the frame back we can use the lasso tool, circle it, cut and paste. When you use text in your spreads, you want to select them and move them around on your page. You want to circle it and move it, for example, down here. So we select our text and move it down here. But this is what happens. We move the whole sticker and our whole image is moved with our text. This is because in the lasso tool the images are turned on and that is why I think it's best to turn the images off whenever you are writing something and want to move text around. So now that the images are turned off, you can move your text wherever you want on the page. So now it's time to use everything we learned in this video and make a spread. I will be using all the methods that I showed you and all the hacks. So now first I drag and dropped from the sticker book this black frame and now I will also do that with the Polaroid frame just with using the image tool, dragging and dropping it right here. And now I will pick uh, an image that I want to put inside of the frame. So we have to put the frame on top of the image now. We can do that by selecting and cut, but this happens. We deleted the black frame too. So now we need to use the image tool. We should click 
click on the frame and then click share and copy and then delete it and then long press and paste we can easily resize it to fit the image and then I want to put this drawing too I use the image tool and drag and drop but I want this drawing to be behind my image and frame so what I need to do, I need to move all of it to the left so that I don't select the black frame again and then use the lasso tool, circle it and cut and then paste it here now I'm just duplicating the drawing because I want to put it on this left corner too and I'm duplicating the Polaroid frame and now I'm opening the elements tool and my first secret collection that we made today and I'm using this quote to put it right here we can also use this candle now let's use the lasso tool to circle our sticker click on it and copy and paste it into our journal I also want to make this little shape using the highlighter and I want to move it to the left but now everything is moved to the left so what I need to do is turn off images and only have handwriting turned on this way I can move it easily anywhere on the page now if I want to select this and duplicate it it's not possible to do it on this page however I can move it to another page and duplicate it easily now I'm adding the split screen and putting my files app on the right side of the screen to insert a few stickers from there these are the freebie stickers that you could get in December freebie in our Facebook group they are not available now but you can get January stickers if you are using any of the Indica Healer bullet journals you just need to post any of the spreads on our Facebook group and now I wanted to select one of the stickers but it says take screenshot that is because the images were not turned on if you see take screenshot that means your images are not turned on so you should turn on images in order to copy your sticker one of the great things about elements is that you can add grouped stickers into your collections so now I added all of these stickers and you can find it here they are grouped together I can also add the whole spread and this can be so useful when you don't have time to make a spread you can just save it as element and just click on it whenever you need it and that is all for today I truly truly hope you could learn something in this video and please let me know which of these methods you weren't aware of before and what method is your favorite one when you're using stickers in GoodNotes and we'll see each other really really soon I hope bye